JR, we focus on Asia. This is SM Clark. Uh, one of the most popular videos we have, the most popular video we have. Uh, 20,000 views uh, over the two years since it's been made is SM Clark Dining Options. And so I figured that was two years ago. Let's go ahead and update and show you what's changed here at SM Clark. There's a ton more restaurants, especially in the back. There's a new section. So uh, I figured uh, let's make a new video of that popular video. People like food, plain and simple on YouTube. A lot of the best channels on YouTube are food channels. We actually thought about just doing a food channel at one point, but we'll just stick to the travel and food that we do now. But anyways, let's go to SM Clark. Let's go check it out, show you the new areas. Let's go. Right down this way is the uh, Freeport Zone for the Clark Freeport Zone main gate. Across the street is the uh, new mall that's uh, not doing too well. <laughs> right here, this is a drop off point, but it's also the bus pickup Genesis point to point from Clark down to Manila. And then uh, here's your main entrance for SM Clark. Let's go inside. See at the entrance, they always kind of pad you down like you're a criminal. <laughs> Alright, this is the main entrance to SM Clark. You see you got a bakery right here at the main entrance. You got all kinds of restaurants that way. All kinds of restaurants including Pizza Hut. It's really not the same but it's not bad as the uh, US. See down this way, bunch of restaurants, Toll House, Ramen. Chinese, Gilligan's, Classic Savory, Reyes Barbecue, Mila's, Jollibee. Let's go ahead and walk uh, through the middle of SM Clark. You see there's escalators going up the second floor. Second floor is mainly uh, electronics. There are a few furniture stores. This was recently put in, this merry-go-round. I think it's been here about two, three months now. They always have this little train going around, riding kids around. But if you come straight through this way, the main entrance, go all the way to the back and then go out, you'll hit the new section. We'll walk straight through right now. There's your uh, Starbucks, overpriced coffees. They still got a lot of decorations for the Chinese New Year that just passed. You check that out. It's pretty cool with the dragon. This place always decorates for like the holidays. The dragon's pretty cool. In the middle areas of SM Clark, they usually have stalls like this. And usually it's a, a business just starting out maybe. Or sometimes it's a bigger business and they just want to have another area to sell their stuff. See right here, a little bakery. This one here, looks like brownies. Another cake and pastry place. Over here, macarons, wabi-sabi Japanese rice balls, coffee, bean, and tea leaf. That's a popular chain here in the Philippines. Then you always have uh, just weird, unknown reason why stuff. It's a big gold decorated palace in the middle with a self-playing piano going right now. Right here is the uh, food court. Spin you around there real quick. Got some decent options in there. Seoul Babimbap, some Korean food, purple pad thai, Don Don Se, Turks. Turks is like a kebab place. Got a lot of seating in here. Got DQ, got a little tempura place, sausage and fries. This side, Ho, Hosa Express, Sina Man, Mani. These are usually uh, all Filipino dishes. Sizzling plate. 
Ihao Wan. You can see over here, comes out to the back section. This is a Hokkaido ramen. Out, outside seating, they got a place on the inside. Like, here's the uh, waterfall. So we'll go outside and we'll hit the new building. All right, so when you come out the back side of the main hallway here at SM Clark, you'll see the Decathlon. That's a huge uh, sporting goods store here in the Philippines, sporting goods chain. Actually got them in uh, Malaysia and Singapore, I believe. I think we've seen them there. Uh, maybe Thailand. But anyways, this is where you want to hit for all the new restaurants. We'll go down here to the left this way, and we'll show you all the restaurants down there. And then later on, we'll go to the right and show you the restaurants there. We're going to eat some lunch. We'll show you that. Let's go. Let's get across this road. You see all this greenery hanger hanging down. That's hanging down from the skywalk. This is all, you know, relatively new. This skywalk above. You can walk. It goes all the way down. Up above here, there's call centers. Up above this side is a uh, university. So let's go down here and show you all these new restaurants down in here. Especially since the last video two years ago. To start out right here, this donut shop called Glaze. Really high-end, delicious donuts. A little pricey, man, but they are uh, pretty damn good. Big Al's cakes, cookies, and ice cream. We have not eaten here, Mama Lou's, at this location. We have eaten it before. It's decent Italian. Mama Lou's Italian kitchen since 2010. We have eaten at this place right here a few times, Taqueria Chupacabra. Decent place to get a quesadilla and some tacos. Uh, still prefer Amigo street food for tacos. Chung Chun, Korean corn dogs and some other snack food. Stuff like uh, fancy coffees and teas and whatnot. And then they have this big coffee place right here, foam coffee. Let's go up here and start hitting the uh, Western options. They've always had, well not always, but they've always had, uh, again I said always. <laughs> they've had a Denny's in Manila for a while. Uh, but now we have it here at SM Clark. It looks like the same option. It's a little pricey, but it is what it is if you want your Western options. Modern Shang, we have a video on this. It's a Chinese and uh, really good. Over here we have Italianis. We've not eaten at this location, but we have eaten at a different one before. That's Italian food. Down here we have what a lot of Westerners like and I like due to the fact that uh, it's hard to get a good steak. This place, Texas Roadhouse has a good steak, it's just like the U.S. Alright, let's see who's waiting for me. We got an order. This is Texas Roadhouse. This is what it looks like on the inside here at SM Clark. I do have a video on this separately. You can check that out. I'll put it in the description block. But I think a pretty good place to come for lunch. Dinner time, it gets a little packed. Even the outside will be full. So lunch, lunch time is a good time to come here. All right, just like in the states, you get your I don't know what kind of rolls they're called with your apple apple butter, and then you even got peanuts in a bucket to throw your peanuts in. You don't throw them on the floor here. We're civilized here in the Philippines, right? Don't throw them on the floor. Make a mess. The Philippines is spotless, clean, everywhere. All right, my first items come out. This is just a house salad, blue cheese dressing. They got me an extra. I'm a blue cheese fanatic. Looks good. This is so you got a set. And hers comes with a potato soup. I don't know if this is normal in the States. I don't remember seeing this. But they do it here in the Philippines. Alright, 
right, our main foods come out. This is the All-American Cheeseburger. Let's just say you got roast beef. And uh, you can pick your side. Instead of getting rice, you got some coleslaw. You got some mixed vegetables. Looks pretty good. Let's get to eating. So now that Texas Roadhouse in town, this is the best burger. Uh, this is the All-American Cheeseburger. They also have the uh, Smokehouse Burger. That's pretty good as well. So. All right, lunch grand total, 1,771 pesos. The conversion right here. Pretty good lunch. Roadhouse. All right, we just got done eating a good lunch. Texas Roadhouse. Let's take a walk down here to the other side of the Decathlon store and show you the uh, restaurants down there. So, like I previously mentioned, it's a big sporting goods store here at Decathlon. Right across that way, this is this is your actual main SM Clark Mall. This whole building here is within the past couple of years being built, and then uh, over the past year, all these new restaurants coming in, like Texas Roadhouse and Denny's. All right, this is the other side of the Decathlon store, the right-hand side. This is New Clark. This is the University. We got Tiger Sugar, which is a uh, coffee shop and teas and all that fancy stuff. Stevenston Pizza. That's out of Canada, uh, from my understanding. We got a Subway, and down here you have a thing called Everything But Cheese, but all they have is everything with cheese. It's the cheesiest cheesiest place on earth this is feast and fire this is a buffet down here is another buffet called dookie i'm not big on that name for a restaurant but hey it's korea number one buffet dookie cafe mignon i know nothing about that one Backside in the middle, uh, you get a bunch of stalls here. This is a little uh, sushi place here. Coffee, little coffee cafe over here. Over here, Kamir. I'm gonna guess that's a shawarma place. Sunny side up, little cafe over here. Healthy lemon. Looks like a little uh, drink stand. Down here, you got 1914 milk tea bar. And this one is Fabio's Grill and Resto Bar. All right, right there's a Decathlon store. There's Tiger Sugar, the pizza place. If you come in the left side of the main entrance, on the back side, show you a bunch more restaurants in here. All right, start out with JCO. It's a coffee and donut shop. This goes cake shop. There's a Hokkaido ramen, Santuka, teppanyaki. Over here you have Conti's Bake Shop. That's a local bakery and restaurant. You got Green Kitchen, healthy options. Coco, it's not Coco's Curry. More like a tea, fancy drink place. Still heading down that same side. On this left side, there's a few more restaurants. This is a uh, real budget-friendly Japanese Moragami Udon and Tempura. Real good prices in there. Next door, you have Koya J. It's a Filipino chain. Prime Steakhouse. It's basically one flat price. You can eat all the steaks you want. Steaks ain't too bad. Uh, one of my favorite places next door to that, Botu Jayu. Japanese place out of uh, Osaka really good food in there and that's about it for this hallway this is 
the right side hallway. As you come in the main entrance, if you hang a right down a big hallway, this is this is that area. Uh, we got a pastry bread place, Angel's Pizza, Bacola Chicken in a saw on the left hand side over here. We got a Wendy's. We got a Mr. Donut, Shawarma Shack. We got a Miss Cecilia. Hey, lady. Um, D Cream, it's like a coffee shop. Bonchon chicken, if you're not familiar with that, it's Korean fried chicken, pretty good. KFC, the Baro Pizza, Goldilocks, which is a big bakery chain here in the Philippines, Zark's Burgers, Kenny Rogers Roasters, and you got Shakey's Pizza up ahead. Continuing down the hallway, last few stops before you hit the uh, carousel, Tokyo Tokyo. Jolly Bee, and that's it for restaurants down this hallway. We'll go across from the carousel down the other hallway. And here's the main entrance. Come in the main entrance. And go left. There's a bunch of restaurants on this side. Krispy Kreme, Army Navy, Kabbalan, Jerry's, Max's, Yellow Cab, and McDonald's down that way. Ferris wheels down that way. If you came in the main entrance, this would be your left-hand hallway. There's a bunch of restaurants up here as well. So if you can't find food here in SM Clark, uh, you ain't never gonna find food here in the Philippines. <laughs> so you got Red Ripon, you got Samjip Masarap, which is a uh, Korean. come in the main entrance and head down the left hand side hallway all the way to the back you got Komori Japanese bakery real good pastries in there cafe Noel we ate there it's okay uh, Champas Mexican grill I'd pass on that one sorry Champas <laughs> wing zone New York Supreme pizza place uh, here's a favorite restaurant at Sicilian and I, Sakura, Japanese restaurant. That's a good one. You can't go wrong with any of the Japanese restaurants that are in this SM mall. They're all actually pretty good. Uh, keep going down here. You got Ikabud, Ikabud. That's a Filipino chain. Dainty, that's a Chinese restaurant. And Tea House, Gong Cha, Tea Place. You have Egg Stop, which is a... Uh, Kind of like Korean egg sandwiches. And then you have chilies. Then on the end is Starbucks. On the other side on the end is Mesa Grill. Actually, Lao Lao or Yao Yao, which is the, uh, it's a Spanish chain of uh, frozen yogurt. Mesa, extremely uh, espresso. Looking forward to this place right here. Opening soon, Hawker Chan, supposed to be April. Singapore, Thai, Taiwan, China, Malaysia, Thailand, Australia, and Kazakhstan, and the UAE. Big chain. And it looks, uh, looks like it's going to be pretty good. Uh, you got Kumi over here. And then uh, a lot of people's favorite, Cinnabon. That's just this hallway. that for a SM Clark food slash restaurant tour so many places so many options especially with that new wing in the back 
with the Roadhouse and the Denny's and TGIFs and all that. Uh, so many, so many places to eat. If you can't find food in here, man, you might as well stay home and cook for yourself. <laughs> uh, passing right now. Look at Army Navy, a good place for some little burger and whatnot. Krispy Kreme, French Bakery. So many places. Here's the main entrance. We're going back out. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate our subscribers as always. And uh, see you on the next video. Take care.